Hi, welcome to video 5 of the online basis training presented to you by QED, the actuarial arm of Aon Hewitt. The videos are aimed at a fairly basic level to get you started and more comfortable with the software package, but can be used to consolidate some of the knowledge you already have about basis. This video will attempt to bring everything that we have previously mentioned together by going through a simple example. We will first create the data and parameter file and then we will run a gross premium valuation for a very simple term assurance. Let's get started with the parameter file. Because we are modeling a term assurance, we need to create a policy type of term assurance in our parameter file. We will make the policy type 1. The first item on our basis is a renewal expense of 240 per annum. This is input on the GPV tab under environmental parameters in the per policy expense space. The non-unit income of 9% and the inflation of 6% are also put into the same tab in their respective available places. They are both put in as decimals. The next item is mortality. Mortality is 80% of the SA 8590 table. This gets defined in the decrements tab. The 80% gets input into the multiplier column, column B. That is to find the benefit occurrence since the policy will be paid out on death. The same details need to be put into the decrement section since the benefit and policy will cease on occurrence, i.e. death will take the policy out of force. The withdrawal rates can also be entered on this page. The rates are 15% in the first year, 10% in the second year, and 5% in all subsequent years. The section for generation or aids tables is found under the general parameters generation tables. We can input the HA2 tables under benefit 1 for males and females. The AIDS multiplier on the GPV decrements tab also needs to be set to 1 so that the AIDS rates filter through. There is nothing to add to the term assurance tab under the GPV section as we want to leave the multiple of some assured received on death at 1. Commission is the last item to input and this can be found in the product design section by clicking on the light bulb. Then the commission tab. The top items detail the parameters to apply to the first year and the commission as a proportion of premium can be found at the bottom of these. 25% for the first year. The subsequent years can be input below this. 13% for the second year, and 6% thereafter. That completes the necessary items for the parameter file. Let's save it and move on to the policy data. The data has been set up in Excel already. Note the structure of the headings are the same as those found in BASIS. Simply highlight the policies, copy, move back to BASIS and the data editor, and paste by clicking on the paste button or select edit, paste. Now before we save, we have one more policy to add to the book that wasn't already set up in the spreadsheet. The policy information is shown here. This policyholder was born in December 1983 and the policy commenced on the 1st of January 2008. The policy term is 12 years, the annual premium is 9,000 and the sum assured on death is 150,000. We can add this information to the bottom of the already added policies. The policy type will still be 1 as that is what was defined in the parameter file. We will make the policy number QED003 
to stick with the naming convention from the spreadsheet. Policy rec life will be 1 and movement number will be 0. Remember that the combination of these four fields have to be unique for each line in the database. The annual premium of 9000 can be added under office premium. Note that an annual figure is always input here unless it is a single premium amount, then that single premium will be entered. Basis accounts for the frequency of premium by looking at the frequency column. This policyholder will pay monthly premiums, so we enter 12 here. The policyholder is a male, so the field sex will remain 1. Males are input as 1 and females as 2. The sum assured of 150,000 can be entered under the sum assured 1 field, as this is where we input the mortality tables in the parameter file. The next information we can add to the policy line is the date of birth. He was born in 1983 in December. The policy then commenced on the 1st of January 2008. The policy will cease after 12 years, so it has a cease date of the 1st of January 2020. The premium and benefit C states can be entered the same as the C state. The premium paying period and benefit cover period are the same length as the full policy term. That is all the information we need for the policy, so we can add a valuation date to the database and run error checking. There are no pertinent errors, so we can now save the database and begin the setup of the control file. In the control file, we can start by selecting the data that we have just created, as well as the parameter file. Previous data is not required for a GPV run. The next step would be to specify the file location to which we would like BASIS to save the output. Next, we set the valuation date as the 1st of January 2013 and select Gross Premium Valuation from the drop-down box next to Run Type. Username and run description are not required but we fill it in, in case someone needs to follow up on the runs at a later time. Finally, we set the detailed output to 1, as we want to see all three policies' detailed output. We can then save the control file. Now, click the green button to set off the run. The summary gives no fatal errors, which is what we want, but it is always good practice to carry out further checks. We can open the .date and carry out a couple of spot checks to see if the cash flows are coming through. Finding the QED001 policy, we can see that the monthly premium is 1000, which corresponds to the 12,000 annual premium seen in the database. The commission for month 92 is 60 and the corresponding withdrawal rate is 0.004167, all as we expected. We then open the .sum file. and find the non-unit reserve of negative 59,742. That is a brief run-through of a simple term assurance example. This concludes our initial series of videos. Additional videos will be added over the next few months. Please contact QED should you have any queries or even suggestions for video topics that you would like to see. Thank you for tuning in. Goodbye.